Hi, everyone. I was praying with somebody and I got this image that I thought was helpful for her, but I got the sense that it would be helpful for others too. So I just wanted to share if you feel like you're being attacked by the enemy, that there's just things coming at you left and right. First of all, realize he's a defeated foe, right? He has been defeated. Jesus is victorious and you are victorious or more than a conqueror because of Christ Jesus. But also, how much is that even true? So sometimes it's just looking at it and going, there actually are other things going on that are good. We can focus on those. And the image of him on your back, oh, he's just on my back attacking me. And I got this image of, you know, a, a small person and, and a big person on them. And it's so distracting and you can't do anything but try and get them off. But if you're you know, strong, strengthened by the power of his might, right? Christ in you, the hope of glory, you're strong, like seeing, seeing the person, us as just powerful and strong. And the thing on your back is an itty bitty little ant, like a tiny little sugar ant. And you don't even know it's there. I mean, it's not that we don't turn, we do turn and, and tell the enemy to go in the name of Jesus, he must leave. But sometimes it's just the, the shouting, all the stuff going on, and he's just trying to get you to notice him there. Like, no, you are nothing. You are a defeated foe. And then the image that came to mind, the, the memory really, was uh, my dog, Sandy, had had to wait longer than normal for her dinner. We'd had um, just a lot of chatting and fun after dinner. She gets dinner right after I'm done eating and she had waited a long time. So she was really built up and very determined that she wasn't going to get missed. And so when we came back, we were eating outside. When we came back to the house, she stuck her nose like right at the opening of the door and was just really intensely wanting in. Well, my cat Pepper felt the same way. Like I want that food that we're going to get right now. So they were both there. And often when I opened the door, Pepper will just actually jump over Sandy because Sandy moves so slowly and she can't wait. So she just jumps over her. Well, Sandy was so excited when Pepper went to leap over her. Sandy ran forward and Pepper landed just spread eagle right over Sandy's back. <laughs> and you know, they're they're close enough in weight. Sandy is bigger, but they're close enough in weight. This should have had a reaction. And it didn't. Um I feel like Pepper had a momentary, like, what just happened? But she got off and got in her spot where she gets to eat and it didn't even care then. And Sandy acted like nothing had happened. Just, I am determined. She just kept moving forward, totally focused on her food bowl. I get to sit right here and food will end up in this bowl. Just determined. And we are children of God. And he has good plans and a good purpose and a good calling on our life. And our calling is to do the great commission, to walk like Christ as he is. So are we in this world? Like we're filled with the Holy spirit to renew our mind and be transformed by the renewal of our mind. We have, he's, he's laid out what we are to do. We, our calling is child of God. And so we can just keep going forward and yes, we can turn and command and, you know, we can, we can tell the enemy he has to leave, but don't let it get your eyes off God. That was what Sandy demonstrated. It may have been food, but it was just this single purpose. Like it doesn't even matter what this big cat lands, just curse plot, spread eagle on my back. I don't care. I'm not going to let it stop me get to the spot where if I sit here, I get food. And so I just think that if we keep our eyes stayed on him, he keeps us in perfect peace, right? Like, and we have that peace. That's old covenant too. We have that peace in us. And shalom means uh, health, prospering in all things, wholeness, completeness, and peace. And so I just speak that over all of you. Just remember who you are and who you're keeping your eyes on and don't let anything stop you from that and so sandy is now asking for her food so i am going to go i hope you have a wonderful day